Hey, Dr. Gardner here. Wanted to talk a little bit about sclerotherapy. So sclerotherapy is something that we do quite a bit of here at the Vein Institute. Sclerotherapy involves treatment of spider veins. People don't like spider veins. Uh, basically, they're afraid to wear shorts. They think that uh, their legs don't look nice. Um, and it's a common problem. So we see lots and lots of it and we treat lots and lots of it. So basically, the way we treat it, it's a process. It's not a one and done. Everybody thinks they're gonna come in, have their spider veins treated, and that's it. They're done, they don't have to do anything else. Unfortunately, it is a process, meaning it's not a one and done. So typically, it requires multiple treatments over a period of time. Uh, we inject, we damage the veins, they look worse. Your body's um, basically immune response uh, anti-inflammatory response kicks in and cleans up the damage so they start to look better so again we inject we damage they look worse your body kicks in cleans up the damage they look better then we repeat that treatment usually six eight weeks later and, and we keep going until we get a good result meaning that uh, the result that you want. Uh, unfortunately, it's an out-of-pocket expense, and so that's why you determine when you're done with treatment. Uh, my corny analogy is basically uh, pretend your front yard's full of crabgrass, right? You call somebody, they come spray your yard, uh, it looks better, and then they come back six, eight weeks later, and they treat it again, and eventually you get a nice pretty yard because one treatment typically doesn't take care of all the damage. Sclerotherapy is very much the same. Now, uh, let's talk about risks. Risks of sclerotherapy is very low. Um, here's what I tell people. It doesn't matter what I do. If I cut the skin with a knife or poke it with a needle, I worry about bleeding, I worry about infection, I worry about damage to surrounding structures. Risk with these procedures, very low, but it's always there. So people want to know, can I get a blood clot? And the answer is yes, but the risk of that's exceedingly low. And the fast 15 to 18 years since I've been doing veins, I've seen one blood clot from sclerotherapy. So it's very uncommon, but it is a known complication. Um, so what else? You can have a little bit of skin breakdown, tiny little area called a venous ulceration. Risk of that happens when the sclerosin gets outside the vein, it can cause some tissue necrosis. Again, risk of that's very low, especially with our newer solutions, meaning sotradecol and polydocanol. We don't typically use hypertonic saline because if you extravasate, it causes uh, ulcerations and it's painful to inject. So we use newer solutions, risk of that's really low. Pigmentation changes, uh, meaning that uh, you can get some discoloration around the areas that we treat. Um, this usually is short-lived and will go away typically with time. We always caution people that UV radiation, direct sunlight, tanning beds can make this worse. So we ask you to avoid those for a while after you have your sclerotherapy treatment. For that reason, a lot of people like to do sclerotherapy in the fall and winter months, but we still do lots in the summer. So anyway, if you have other questions about sclerotherapy, let us know, happy to talk with you about it. We always do a venous screening, meaning a limited ultrasound uh, exam before we do sclerotherapy, because a lot of people that come in for purely cosmetic reasons actually have underlying uh, issues with their veins that need to be treated with a larger procedure and the screening will tell us that so anyway uh, give us a call if you have any questions thanks